Hey, we're Derek Campos, man. Main event for PFC 29. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great. You know, took care of weddings, feel great. So. How you feeling uh, for this fight? I know this is uh, a, a lot of people I know, but this is a rematch, you know, from early in your career. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we fought. He was my fifth pro fight against uh, Diego, and uh, you know, he edged me out uh, barely, you know. So looking forward to getting in there and getting this one back and uh, and just moving forward on with my career. So when you fought him, uh, you were you were undefeated going into your fifth fight, and he had like at least over a dozen fights. Do you think um, that the um, lack of experience, um, you know, yeah. participating in that fight? Yeah, looking. I mean, looking back at myself, then uh, you know, I saw I was still developing, still learning my game, and and uh, didn't utilize uh, my wrestling and jujitsu like I, you know, did later on in my career and do now. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, some things that I learned from that fight being my first loss. It was bitter, bitter for sure. But uh, this one, this fight, uh, coming in with a whole new game, ready to get after it and and take him out first, second round. Yeah, obviously you're a whole different fighter as well as he is. Um, the last time we spoke, we were um, in Dallas at the Thriller uh, Combat Fight. You just won. Um, what have you been doing since then up until this fight? How, you know, as far as your training, you know, um, keep keeping that in, um, as far as, you know, training and, and work, life balance. You know? Oh, man. Because you never know when you get that call. Yeah, honestly, I just, you know, be honest, you know, I lost... Uh, after the Triller fight, you know, I was kind of hoping to get another one set up with that promotion and then trying to line up some bare knuckle fights and just, you know, just keeping that fire going for a moment there, kind of lost the desire and, uh, you know, just because, you know, just having trouble getting opponents matched up for other organizations and getting fights turned down by guys and, uh, but, you know, it's like at the end of the day, I, I, I dug deep down and just, I still had that fire, you know, I have a reason to fight, you know, I have fam my family my son to take care of and and uh, that's that's really what it is just balancing uh, work life family life and and just this professional life that I chose so I'm looking forward to it you fought on many stages before you know being a Bellator vet um, you find it funny that it's, it's still hard to find your opponents you know and at this point in your career yeah you know I hate to say it, but a lot of guys pick and choose the guys that they want to fight you know Nobody wants to fight the, the experienced guy, the tough guy, you know, it's hard to take out, you know, they, it's either it's either going to be good for them or it's going to be bad for them, so uh, at this point, you know, whenever they offered me Diego, I was like, hell yeah, let's do it, let's, 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 let's get this one back, And uh, but as far as future opponents go, you know, hope I don't have that trouble in the future, my goal is to continue uh, in MMA, uh, you know, and, and, and honestly, see if I can't get back to the, you know, keep going up in, in the ranks and, and get back up in the ranks and, and get up to, uh, back up to Bellator, say, or, or uh, UFC or PFC or, you know, uh, well, I mean the PFL and uh, just just see where it goes, man. I just, I mean, I've got a few more years of fight left in me and I want it. So, I mean, let's, uh, I'm going to go get it. And uh, how does it feel to be the main event for, for PFC 29? And being so close to home, you ain't got to travel as far. I'm I'm honored, man. I, you know, when they first offered me the fight and against Diego, I said, "Yeah, let's do it." And uh, then come to find out, it was going to be for the main event. I was like, even better. So, I mean, I love the lights, I love the showcase, I love the, the people, I love the crowd, especially here in Texas. Uh, man, it's just I, I feed off the energy. So I mean, I'm excited. So I mean, just. People come to see a fight, they want to see a banger, they want to see excitement. So, I mean, I'm going to go out there and put on a show. You know, most uh, most people know you, and for the fans that who are really going to get to see you, what can they expect tomorrow night in the main event against uh, Diego Brando? Man, they're going to expect a clash, a clash, uh, blood, blood bath, man. He, he's going to be wearing the crimson mask. I expect to be dripping a little bit of blood, so, I mean, it's going to be what it is, man. It's just, we're going to go in there and we're going to get a, like a dog fight. And, uh, I plan on coming out on top, so. It's gonna be an exciting fight, no doubt. Um, any shout outs you wanna give out to your family, friends, or sponsors? Man, honestly, my number one my number one fan, number one sponsor, my mom. My mom, she's, she's always been there for me, always, you know, uh, been, been the backbone for me, you know, and just keeping my head on straight, so. First and foremost, my mom, and then of course, you know, uh, spiritually, I've been trying to find myself, man, just, I thank God for where I am right now. I'm lucky to be here. And uh, and just it just every day is a blessing, you know what I mean. 
That's all. I, that's that's really what I want to say to people is every day you get to wake up, it's a blessing. Doesn't matter your circumstances. I know everybody's is different, but get up, get after it, and, and go get it. Whatever your dreams or goals are, don't hesitate. Don't don't look for excuses. Find a way and get it done. Hey, Derek, can't wait to see you, man. Best of luck tomorrow night, man. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.